Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've had a busy couple of weeks. We picked up loads of furniture. We even paid for some. That's very rare for us. We normally want everything for free. But anyway, will we make some sales? That is the big question. Stay tuned to the end to find out. Hi guys, we're back at it again today. We're picking up a cool uh, coffee table. We found it on Facebook Marketplace, as usual. Um, we shouldn't really be picking up any more furniture because we still have the two items in the back of the van and we still need to sell a few bits in the flat as well. But we just couldn't resist. It looks so cool and it's such a nice upcycle project. And it's free. Exactly. We can't down, turn down free furniture. <laughs> no. We're on our way now and we'll show you guys after. Ah, we found the house. We just need to message them and then we're good to go. Alright guys, that's the table loaded in. It's a really nice coffee table, we'll show you guys after. Okay guys, so while we're out, we just received a message with someone interested in the white side table that we have cycled. Um, we had it listed for 80, but she's offered us 50, so we're gonna accept it because we just need it out of the flat. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna quickly take some items upstairs to the flat, bring the white side table down and go and deliver it. Catch you in a bit. lady lives so we're going to deliver it now see you tomorrow. oh yeah and get some money how are you <coughs> okay that has been delivered she paid us 50 pounds really nice lady and we've got more space in the flat now so we've already taken the two items up so when we get back in the house we'll show you what they look like so another £50 on our profit total. Okay guys, so we finally have someone interested in the ugly duckling piece. We originally listed it for 120 but we have kept knocking the price down and now it's at £40. Anyway, Chantal messaged me earlier. We've got someone come to Vlu, Vlu? view at four o'clock. Um, so let's hope for a sale. This thing's been sitting for a while, about five, six weeks. Anyway, we'll see what happens. The guy's downstairs, I'm just going to go and grab him. This guy's taking the absolute piss, man. Many hours later. Okay, so the ugly duckling piece has sold. We agreed on the phone 45, but he said 40, and we just want it gone, so I don't care about the fiber, because the fiber was to deliver it. I'm gonna deliver it free of charge. So in about an hour, I'm gonna ask my brother to come up, give me a hand, get it down, and go and deliver it, and then we'll get the other 20 quid. Elle's just arrived. She can help me take this downstairs, get it loaded in the van, and go and deliver it to the guy. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, that is the ugly duckling piece gone. Just took upstairs, 20 quid. I couldn't record because me being me, when me and Elliot were bringing the chest of drawers down the stairs, I put the GoPro in one of the drawers. And then when I took it up to his flat, I was like, oh, my GoPro. And um, yeah. Anyway, it's gone, 20 quid or 40 quid. Let's go, on to the next one. Okay guys, the ugly duckling piece has finally left the building. I'm so happy about it. I brought some items up from the van. Now we've got a bit more space. So I'll show you what we've got. Let me flip the camera around. Okay, I picked them bedside cabinets up yesterday. I was out on a little drive with my client and um, yeah, they popped up and I went and grabbed them for free. Obviously couldn't record because I had my client in the car. Um, then that's the table me and Chantel picked up a couple of days ago. And then we've got the desk in the kitchen as well. They're all in a bit of a state. We picked that up last video. And they're all in a bit of a state, but we can make something nice out of them so it's all good i'm gonna relax for the night now because i've been pretty busy all day i've been flat out at work then i've been driving around picking stuff up you know the score and um, so i'm just gonna relax and then i'll crack them with some painting tomorrow 
Okay guys, we just finished the coffee table. We sanded the top down and we've put a clear wax on it. We painted all the bottoms black with French Eats Black Jack. We're gonna get it listed now and hopefully we make a quick sale. As always, we'll keep you updated. All right guys, these are the bedside tables that Dean picked up the other day. So we're gonna start upcycling them now and then we'll show you guys after when they're done. Okay guys, we just finished the bedside cabinets. They look really nice. We're gonna list them now on Facebook Marketplace and we'll let you know when we have some interest. Hi guys, so we're on our way to pick up some more furniture. Uh, we found it on Facebook Marketplace, but this time it isn't for free. We're paying 25 quid for two items and one is a console table and the other one is a real cool, funky wine rack we're gonna put them some pictures here so you can see for yourselves uh, but we're quite excited to upcycle those so we'll show you guys after all right guys we just arrived at the place um we're gonna make, have to make an effort for this one because we can't park on the side of the road so bear with us <laughs> Typical, we'd rang the doorbell and she sent us a message that she isn't home yet. We have to wait for 10 minutes. Yay! Attempt number two, guys. Okay. Both items loaded, we are heading home and we'll probably take the console table upstairs and then we'll leave the wine rack in the car for a few days. Anyway, we'll see you in a little bit, all right? Okay guys, we have a few sales lined up. It's been a while to be fair. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna sell in about five, 10 minutes hopefully is the desk. We picked that up, we thought it was solid wood but it's not, it's like a cheap wood. So all we did was we sanded and varnished the top and gave it a clean. Someone's come to pick that up for 30 pound. Um, then later on we have two sales lined up. So the bedside cabinets and the retro coffee table. Um, they're selling for £80 for the bedside cabinets and £60 for the retro coffee table, um, which means we can bring some other stuff up from the van, which is good because it's been in there for a while now. So we've got like the wine rack or whatever you want to call it. And we have the TV unit that we picked up about four weeks ago. It's been sitting in my van. Um, and then we've got the console table in the bedroom so we can start with that. But we need to sell these items first. So we will keep you updated um, as always and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, that is the desk gone. 30 quid in the pot, happy days. Okay, yeah, like I said, in about an hour, maybe half an hour now, I'm not sure, Chantal's actually speaking to him. Someone's coming for the bedside cabinets and, so and someone else is coming for the uh, coffee table. So we'll keep you updated. Um, sorry about the noise, the washing machine is on. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you in the next half an hour now and we'll let you know what's happening, all right? Peace. guys now that is what I call a quick sale uh, we've listed the coffee table for 70 pounds and someone offered us 60 so 60 pound extra in our pocket on to the next sale and that's the bedside cabinets gone yes finally some space in the flat we've listed them for 80 pounds and we have sold them for 80 pounds so that's all the things sold for now. So ready for some more upcycle project, guys. We'll keep you updated on what's going on. Morning, guys. We are on our way now to pick up our Halloween challenge piece. Um, we were looking for a table, like a little coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. We came across one for 30 pound. So I messaged lady and I said, look, we're doing a challenge. Um, we need to keep costs down. What would be your best price for this coffee table? And she basically said, look, I need rid of it. If you come and collect it today, you can have it for free. So yeah, happy days. We're heading up there now to pick it up. We're not gonna show you what it looks like though because we want it to be a surprise for when we do our Halloween challenge. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll catch you in a little bit, all right? All right, guys, we're here. Alright guys, that's our Halloween project picked up. 
it's a very lovely table and keep an eye out for the Halloween project because you definitely want to see it. Saturday 23rd of October, make sure you tune in. Okay guys, we just got back from the charity shop. We didn't find too much there, we bought a few items. So we bought two baskets, we bought two little lanterns and we bought a tray. So we only paid 15 quid for all this stuff, so we're gonna get them listed straight away and try and make some quick money, just little flips. We're also gonna list all the items we got from the charity shop in our last video. We've used them for a few weeks for staging now, so it's time to get rid of them. And while we're at the charity shop as well, these little handles were on an item of furniture and Chantel really liked them. So she asked if we could buy them off the, what were they on? They were on a console table, I think. So Chantel asked if we could buy them from the bit of furniture. The guy wasn't having any of it and was like, no, of course you can't. Then she started uh, putting her little charm in and uh, worked their magic and she managed to get them. And he gave them to us for free. So we got some cool handles. They're gonna go on our drinks cabinet slash wine rack when we do it. They kind of match the tiles, I don't know if you can see it over there. Anyway, um, also the console table we picked up at the start of the video, we've already made a start on, and we're gonna get that finished this afternoon, and uh, yeah, hopefully get everything listed. But we'll let you know when we've got some more stuff going on, all right, so we'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys, this is the console table we picked up earlier in the video. We gave it a nice little makeover and we stained the top. We're really happy how it turned out. So we're going to list it tonight on Facebook Marketplace and hopefully get a quick sale. This is the other item that we picked up together with the console table. We paid £25 for the lot. Um, this has to wait a few more days because we're currently upcycling our Halloween project, which we're really happy about, so we need to finish that first. That is going to be uploaded on the 23rd of October, so keep an eye because you don't want to miss that video. And yeah, we'll let you know when we have something else going on. So good morning guys, we've got one more sale lined up for today and it's this round lantern. We've listed it for £10 on Facebook Marketplace and we've sold it for £10 as well. The lady is downstairs so I'll just quickly go and bring it to her. I'll be right back. £10 in the pocket. We know it's not a lot of money, but everything's profit in the end. So £10 more pounds on our profit total, guys. See you next time. Okay, guys, so there it is. We made a lot of sales this week. Things are starting to pick up, and we still have a lot of items to sell. So we still have the drinks cabinet that we need to upcycle. We still have the console table. We've got all the charity shop stuff that we've got to sell. We also picked some lanterns up from a lady. She was selling five lanterns for a £10. I put a picture up. We bought them as well, so they'll come out of the expenses, and we're going to sell them as well. Chantal's now going to go over the sales and our figures. So our current profit total is £4,259. So we have sold our white side table for £50. We've sold our ugly duckling piece for £40. Our desk for £30. The coffee table for £60. Our bedside cabinets for £80. And the lanterns for £10. Which adds up to a total sales of £270. Now we did have some expenses and they add up to £50, they were for the wine rack and the console table that we picked up, uh, the lanterns uh, and the, some more charity items. So if you add and deduct everything, our new profit total is £4,479. Woohoo! Slowly getting there. Thanks for watching guys, we really appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our new content. And, and as, as always, always we'll, we'll catch, catch you on the flip side. side. Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've has a... We've has a... <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've has a... <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've has a... We've has a... Why can't I talk, man? Seriously. Anyway, will we make some sta stales? St Anyway, will we make some sta stales? Why do I keep saying stales? Will we make some stale? No. Will we make some sales? Stay tuned to the end to find out. So we're on our way now, and we will keep you guys. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> You're such a pig. That literally just came out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're absolutely <laughs> <laughs>
dun 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 Breakaway goal, Malik Wilkes on as a substitute, cut inside, left foot, and rolled it in via the post. It's all two, Burnell. And let's go to Ivan Gaskell, great game, PW United, Bristol City. Torrential rain, drills and spells, Swadix for two well-taken goals, Atkinson via Thompson and Tanner for Bristol City. Oh, I was like looking at the camera and I was like, why is that there? I don't know if you've seen that, you're very wise, I'm looking at that. City sunk it all up. Before Chris Martin, <gasps> oh, gotcha. What are you like? Okay, guys, that's... Okay. Here we can go again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>